as you can see, this is the second question. Now, this is 2009 question, and it reads, if 1 on 2, it's 1 to the power n equals to 1 on 84, uh, 54, you are supposed to solve for the value of n. Let me include that one. Solve for n. Solve for n. So we have a question like this. Anytime you have a statement like this and you are supposed to solve for the value of n, you just have to follow the instruction as we have known earlier. Now, this is a kind of fraction. It's the same as 81 to the power n over 2, but they have halved it. So all you have to do is to be able to solve it clearly. Solution. Good. You just have your 1 Good. What you do now is that you just have to multiply through by the half here. So I multiply here by 2 and I multiply here by 2. So when this one happens, 2 goes. Then this 2 will go to SF1 and go to um, 54, 27. So I now have 81 to the power n to be equals to 1 on 27. OK, according to the law, you have to express it as linear. So when I express it as linear, we know that a to the power negative 1 is equals to 1 over a, or 1 on a. So bringing that back, I'm going to have Twenty-seven to the power negative one. Then we look at the base that can contain twenty-seven and the same base that can contain eighty one. So in expressing, I realize if I go back to our previous um, basic learning, so eighty one is here. Base prime number that can go to eighty one. Three can go to eighty one, and three will go to eighty one, twenty-seven. Then three will go to twenty-seven, nine. I have 3, 3. So these are my possible numbers. So in this regard, I'm going to get um, the 81 is now going to be represented by 3 to the power 4. 3 to the power 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Into bracket n. Then 27. You know 27 is here. And 27, we had how many 3's? 1, 2, 3. So I'm also going to get 3 to the power 3, negative 1. At this point, what we can do is that we equate the base, leaving, creating a space here, 4 to the power n to be equals to 3 times negative 1 is going to give me minus 3. So what I do now is I divide through by 4. So I divide here by 4 and here by 4. 4 cancels n equals to neg 3 on 4. So that is the value of n. We will try another uh, pass question, then we will move on to the next session.